Hello guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today I will show you a very great plugin, a free plugin that you can find on the website cinemaplugin.com free stuff. We will talk today about the stipple modifier. It's a spline modifier that can convert any spline into dot and dashes. So if you do motion design, this is very uh, useful. You can also take a look at the other stuff like the dynamic subdivider or the multi modifier, which are a very great tool. Uh, so this one can speed up your renders with a free adaptive subdivisor and you can um, join multiple deformers into a single deformer object with a multi modifier. I did not use yet a spline mask and collide shader but I can uh, recommend you to use uh, this uh, tree. Uh, they are very useful and uh, they are very great. So let's take a look at the kind of effect you can do. This was a short film um, created uh, with a friend Maxime Tibergien and uh, you will see that uh, he added some uh, spline effects to the modelization uh, I made and um, this had a very cool motion design effect so so adding this kind of shapes uh, um, helps uh, to add a very cool uh, universe to your uh, short films and uh, it helps to understand the, the movements and kind of stuff like that and uh, the very very helpful plugin is the steeple modifier so I will uh, take any spline I will use a sphere and hit shift C to have my command panel and I will hit a steeple modifier when you add a steeple modifier, you just drag and drop it into your spline and instantly, I don't know if it's the right word because I'm French and English is a, a bit pain in the ass, but I think it, uh, it's, uh, it takes effect uh, directly. It's uh, very useful to create this uh, shape look. So you can uh, control the amount of um, of lines. You can adapt it to the length. You can offset and animate the line. You can animate the beginning and the end. So it's like uh, in After Effects, but here you have it directly in 3D, which is, uh, in my opinion, better to have a greater control um, to your uh, films. So you can also animate the end and you can add some randomness uh, to your spline so to have a kind of motion design and uh, flat um, render you can just add um, extrusion and you can add a profile spline like the classical N side and you just drag and drop your two spline here and you can just but a simple shader with only um, light and this gives you the very nice and flat effect of these dots and to do motion design this is uh, really cool and it's rendering very 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 fast so I just wanted to show you this short tool today because I found it very useful to add uh, more things into into your creation. It uh, very it helps a lot to create uh, movements into your animation. So if you liked this video, you can join us on Instagram or check out uh, our website Motion Designers Community, which is a more a French uh, website. But you have um, an artist section with some interviews in English, so you can have fun with us and you can jo join us in um, our social medias or subscribe at our YouTube channel. Feel free to, to join the, web, the Facebook group Motion Designers Community. It's a French-English um, group where you can share your renders and talk with people. Most of the posts are in French, but some guys uh, post in English and you have a very great community if you need help or need to share your work. This is not um, a publicity group, 
so please just uh, come here for the to share stuff or help people not to promote your your crappy website or, or stuff like that <laughs> i say it with humor but please keep the keep the great community which is growing up safe and uh, see you next time guys